Hello everybody, this is SaberX coming to you live with my fifth video review for the Beasts of the Mesozoic Raptor series action figures by Creative Beast Studio and David Silva. And today we are going to be looking at figure number nine in the series, Zenyuan Long Sunai. So here we are, there it is, and before we take a look at the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging. So here is the packaging for Zenyuan Long Sunai. Very nicely done. This is the magnified illustration by Jonathan Kuo, as is universal for all the Raptor figures, except for the um, artwork done for the Fans' Choice variants, which was done by Sarah Richards. So there you have that. Inside you also have the removable diorama, which can be placed behind the figure for added effect. And I very much like that uh, tropical forest type look. Um, on the back, here is the full body illustration by Jonathan Quo. Again, um, universal for all figures except for the Fans Choice variants, which were again done by Sarah Richards. Um, here's some fun facts about the dinosaur itself. And. We also, of course, have the list of figures in the toy line, not including the Fans' Choice variants. So, there you have that. Now, let's move on to the figure itself. So, here we have Zenyuan Long Sunai, and I have to say, this is such a cool figure. This is actually, perhaps, the most accurate of all the Raptors in the toy line, because this is actually based on the real fossil of Zenyuan Long itself. So we actually have a pretty good idea of what this dinosaur looked like. We don't know the color for this dinosaur, unfortunately, because color pigments as yet have not been recovered from the fossil feathers. At least not as far as I know. I could be wrong and they could still be publishing that. But um, unlike several dinosaurs, from Liaoning, China, where this animal was found, we do not have color for this dinosaur. So, the coloration here by um, David Silva when he designed this is speculative. Now, there were two variants for this figure in regards to color. There is the normal variant, which you are seeing here, and then there is the Fans' Choice variant, which um, is based more on a hornbill in regards to color. So I thought that was a very cool, um, different design that really just altogether worked for it. And frankly, I like them both, but I kind of like this one just a little bit more. Or I'm not really sure why. I, I guess it's just because the black and purple coloration kind of makes it look, I would say, a bit more sturdy. like like maybe a bit more tough in regards to how this animal looks like I get the feeling of intimidation when looking at this figure so yeah I really like that now I'm not exactly sure um, what bird was used as reference for this I believe it was a toucan but again I'm not sure I do not remember unfortunately but nevertheless I really love the design on this dinosaur. And Zenyuan Long is just such a cool animal in general. I mean, this is a fully feathered dromaeosaurid that was about the same size of, as a Velociraptor. And yeah, it was found in one of the most fossil rich deposits in the world. The, um, the uh, Yixian Formation in China which has been very generous in giving us hundreds, if not thousands, of different um, specimens of different dinosaurs, including um, Changyuraptor, uh, Microraptor, Sinornithosaurus, Baypiaosaurus, um, Tianyulong, Psittacosaurus, um, which actually has bristles instead of feathers, but um, Zongjianosaurus, and of course the biggest feathered dinosaur of them all, Eutyrannus, as well as its cousins, D-Long 
and Zhang Guang Long, and just an incredible array of feathered dinosaurs from the Yixian Formation in Liaoning, China. And those are all part of the Jiho biota, which is um, the um, fossil bearing formations in which these dinosaurs were found. Just incredible, incredible specimens there. And in regards to oh, um, dinosaurs in the toy line, I am very glad they brought Zhenyuan Long into the folds of this toy line because frankly that was such a great way to bring attention to this dinosaur. It is just such a cool animal. I, I really love it. Now going into the detail on the figure, if I remove him from his stand, um, he does have all 26 points of articulation that are universal to the Beasts of the Mesozoic figures and yeah, he is absolutely cool. He does have slightly more limited mobility in some areas of his body, like um, his shoulders are a little bit more limited in regards to their mobility. In regards to their mobility, because of this soft plastic piece right here, um, and his neck does not turn as um, does not turn around as much as the other figures do. This is something he actually shares in common with um, one of the other figures in the toy line, Sargon, because Sargon also has this big ruff, but yeah, he still has a great amount of articulation. Again, it's not very limited, but still it, the limitations on his mobility in regards to those joints are notable enough. Now, he also has right here on the underside of his hip a piece of soft plastic uh, feather molding that also prevents him from being uh, utilized with the clip-on stand that comes with the Beasts of the Mesozoic figures. Now, because of that, I use the alternative stand, which you can see right here. It's this leaning stand. And this is something he actually shares in common with Dromaeosaurus, which I um, reviewed in a previous video. So, showing you that, he does require that. Um, but yeah, once he leans on the stand though, he is very, very much well balanced. Um, I would say he's actually better balanced than most of the other figures um, in general because of that. Now, he also has something else in common with one of the other figures as well. Um, in regards to um, wings, he actually, along with Balar Bondok, has the longest wings of the dromaeosaurs in the toy line. Now, originally I had said that Balar had the longest wings, but I was a little bit mistaken on that. They actually use the same mold for um, Balar and Zenyuan Long in regards to their wing feathers. But these two together have the longest wings of all the figures in the toy line. And I really, really think that that worked for them. And yeah, it's just such a cool figure. Now, his display base, um, I really like as well because it looks like the forest floor, as you can see here. If I just turn that around a little for you guys to see. And underneath is of course that hidden pocket where you can show off and hide um, his extra set of running toes which attach on little pegs underneath. And of course that's such a cool feature. Great way to keep from losing any of your parts for um, any of your figures. And just a great innovation overall. Now the other thing that I think is very very interesting about him is that he actually has the widest tail of all the dromaeosaurs in the toy line, all the raptors, because this again is based on the actual specimen of uh, Zhenyuan Long that we have. So this is actually a realistic. So we know what this is, as in regards to appearance. And it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now the tail, um, 
again can be uh, pointed up or outstretched like this. Um, there are two ball pegs, as is universal in these figures, for the tail to sit in. And there's one right behind the hips and one down here, which makes the tail kind of stick up a bit more diagonally and allows for some more dynamic poses, which is absolutely great if you want to really get into some dynamic poses. Um, other than that, he is just an absolutely beautiful figure. I mean, look at the detail on this. I mean, look at the head, head and the eyes. It's absolutely gorgeous in that regard. I love his eyes, and I love his uh, feathers. I mean, those feathers are so cool on the head. <laughs> now, there is one thing I should also know in regards to this. This tail um, it can be a little bit easy to pop off, so I wouldn't um, mess with it too much. Like, just um, if you're going to bend it at any points, make sure you have an extra hand back here near the base so that way it doesn't pop off on its own. It's it's on a ball joint, so um, you don't have to worry about it breaking, but um, that tail does actually pop off re relatively easy, or at least it does in mine. So just fair warning for you guys who might be interested in getting this figure. Um, when you pose the tail, because it does have the wire in it, um, don't uh, just bend it with one hand. Make sure you have an extra hand or an extra couple fingers um, back here where it attaches so that it doesn't pop off. So, yeah, moving on. Zenyuan Long is just such a cool dinosaur in regards to this toy line, and I'm very glad that they, um, yeah, I'm very, very glad that they put this figure in the lineup. It's just a gorgeous thing. It really is. Now, size comparison and wise, he is. I would say maybe intermediate in size between uh, some of the larger ones and some of the smaller ones. He is a little bit taller than most of these figures um, that are his brethren in the toy line. And I will show you that right now. So here he is with Dromaeosaurus, the other raptor who utilizes the leaning stand as opposed to the um, clip-on stand. And comparing them side by side, um, Zenyuan Long is actually a little bit taller at the hips than Dromaeosaurus. And at the same time, Dromaeosaurus is slightly longer than uh, Zenyuan Long. Um, again, yeah, at the same time, Zenyuan Long has the longest wings, so that's uh, definitely worth noting in there. Now, here he is with uh, Balar Bondok, his fellow mold mate, if you will, in regards to their wing feathers, because they do have the same wing feather mold, and yeah, he actually is a little bit longer than Balar, and and of course he's also taller. So, definitely noticeable difference. I do like how their colors complement each other, though. That is very nice. Um, yeah, but here he is with um, a Trociraptor. A Trociraptor is a little bit longer, definitely not as tall at the hips. Um, but you can definitely see the difference. Um, yeah, definitely Zen Yuan Long is a little bit taller than this guy. And because of that ruff of feathers around the shoulders, he does look a little bit bulkier as well. And of course, he's got way longer, way longer wings. And last but not least, here he is compared to Velociraptor. Now, Velociraptor is definitely longer than Zenyuan Long, and um, yeah, he's slightly shorter than Zenyuan Long at the hip, but not by much. But again, the, the comparisons between them are just altogether plain to see. 
and yeah, I really like how he compares to them all. Now, the other thing I should um, note in regards to this figure was that um, originally when Beasts of the Mesozoic was being funded on Kickstarter, he was one of the was one of the stretch goals, and I was very glad when he uh, had his stretch goal approved because Zen Yuan Long, again, is such a cool dinosaur. I mean, what a great way to bring attention to a, a relatively obscure animal. I mean, just gorgeous. And of course, the Fan's Choice variant also helped with that as well, so you get to have two color variants of this if that's what you want. Now, um, he was about $35 um, on uh, Backer Kit, which is where you could pre-order these figures before. Um, he may be a little bit more now, and um, yeah, he, he's just, a, again, a gorgeous figure. And yeah, I'm very glad to say I got him, and I highly recommend him for anyone who wants this figure, because this is an absolutely unique animal and an absolutely unique toy so definitely if you can get them do so i it doesn't matter if it's the fans choice variant or the uh normal variant but yeah he's definitely worth getting and putting on your shelf whether it's in the collection with the other beasts of the mesozoic or just by himself just such a cool creature um but yeah absolutely absolutely worth getting 100 percent so this is saber x signing off saying you're never too old to play with toys don't be afraid to unleash your inner child and have a good day thank you